Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cyber Cafe. In today's video, I'll show you how to use TryHackMe. First, what is TryHackMe? If you really want to learn about penetration testing, if you want to learn ethical hacking, as you might know, this field is all about skills, it's all about uh, practice. It's not like other fields where all you need is just to study, uh, read some books and you will be uh, good at what you do. It doesn't work that way. What do you need? You need the practice, you need the hands-on experience. And for that reason, I chose uh, Try Hack Me today. I wanted to show you how to use this great platform. This video is not sponsored by uh, Try Hack Me. I just did this video because I believe that Try Hack Me will help you a lot. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner or intermediate, even if you are a professional, uh, you would still need the practice and there are no better way than capture the flags. Try Hack Me basically is all about capturing the flags. I'm using my Kali Linux and the reason I'm using my Kali Linux because I want to show you how to start practicing with your Kali Linux if you want to. And I honestly suggest that you use your Kali Linux while you're solving all these challenges. The reason why I'm saying that, sometimes you will need to install a new tool, you will have a file that you wanted to save, and you don't want to lose all the hard work that you've done. So if you use your own Kali Linux and you start with TryHackMe, you will end up having great tools while capturing the flags and doing some uh, activities on the website. So let's go ahead now and I'll show you how to use TryHackMe. Uh, as you see in here, I already opened the website and that's going to be the link, TryHackMe. So Signing up for Try Hack Me is straightforward. All you need to do is you're gonna go to join now. You will sign up in here. You're just gonna click on sign up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to login and I'm just gonna sign in and I'll show you how uh, the website look from inside. As soon as you log in, you will see the dashboard. Uh, for me, this is the recently enrolled. Uh, some of the rooms that I chose. So whenever I have time, I would just like go and practice a little bit. So this is gonna be your profile. You can click in here that's going to be your information this is where if you want to create a team and you want to join friends or you want your friends to join your team uh, this is about you you can write whatever you like about yourself if you want to. when you go to other in here this token you can use if you want to uh, join try hack me discord channel and i honestly recommend you to do that because you will meet a lot of great people that they will help you through the boxes they will help you through the room you can ask some questions it's 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 honestly great okay so now we're done with this let's go to learn and i'll show you how it looks so when you come to learn as you see this is the modules in here uh you will have like linux fundamental uh network fundamentals you will have a lot of great rooms that you can start with uh this is learning paths uh, learning path only for members uh, who subscribe if you pay monthly you will see all this paths it's a great and as you see in here the pentest uh, CompTIA certificate you can go and train in there if you want to see all the rooms uh, you would go in here and click all rooms and you will have all these options you can choose if you want web if you want windows rooms if you want forensics what you can do also you can see uh, some challenges. you can choose the type you want it challenge so this is the capture the flags rooms uh, or if you want to walkthroughs, uh, that's all the walkthroughs. So let's say, for example, and go to Hashing Crypto 101. When you click on this room, uh, you will see some great information. Uh, it will teach you about hashing. It will give you some information and they will ask you to answer some questions as you go. Okay, uh, now we saw the rooms. Let's go and I'll show you how uh, to compete if you wanted to compete. So if you click on compete. You will have two options you will have the leaderboards leaderboards will will show you all the users in there who who's been active who's been scoring a lot of points and and stuff like that if you go to king of the hill uh, king of the hill is actually a great game here you will have the information of the game uh it will show you how to play you can create your own private game or you can join games so the game let's say you will have a box and your challenge is to hack as fast as you can whatever you hack you have to defend in the same time because you don't want anyone to hack you back so you will try to hack and defend as much as you can it's a great game if you want guys leave it in the comment we can create a private game and we can all practice together okay so how can you connect to try hack me to connect to try hack me you have two options the first option, you can use Kali Linux that they provide. You will have only one hour per day to use uh, their browser. You don't need a virtual box, you don't need a Kali Linux. And let me show you how that works. So after this video, if you're still confused, if you don't know how to use the website, I recommend you to go on here and click on tutorial. This is one of the rooms. 
that will show you how to start and how to connect to try hacking now let me show you how to use the web browser so the first thing you will need to do is you have to join the room if you want to start this room and if you want to answer uh, the questions with the, that comes with the room without joining the room you won't be able you can see the room and see what's the room about and you see the questions but you won't be able to work in the room or, or start uh, answering questions okay so what, what we need to do now uh, if I wanted to use their machine I would just like go to the top in here I'm gonna click on the start attack as you see in here you will have the room to the left side of the screen and to the right side you will have a Kali Linux system which is something great to be honest with you the fact that you can use uh, an operating system through the browser you don't need to download anything and you can solve whatever room you are in uh, this is something great I really like it but as I told you before what I honestly prefer is to use my own Kali Linux I feel comfortable using my Kali Linux because I have some tools that I downloaded there uh, I have some things that it's not in their Kali Linux so I'm more familiar with my uh, operating system not theirs so that's why I use my Kali Linux and as you see in here this is the operating system that they the, they are giving you you can use this one for your challenge for the rooms for whatever you want to use okay so the second thing you will need to do is to deploy the room. It will start counting and as you see in here, uh, it will take one minute then they're gonna give us an IP address for this this specific room. Uh, so every room has its own address and this is the time when it's gonna expire. Uh, for this time you can always add one hour. Even if you end up working 10 hours in one room, what, what you need to do is just to add uh, an extra hours. So most of the rooms uh, will have some steps. Uh, that you can go through so your first challenge will be like follow the steps in this task what is the flag text shown on the website of the machine you started on this task so this is your first question different rooms will have different questions for example one of the rooms will tell you uh, okay after you did the in-map scan how many ports you found uh, what type of ports there are what type of services this website using and you will start answering and what's great about this website if you click in here and you don't know what to answer or how to answer you can click on hint and they will tell you what to do it says remember to paste the IP address of the machine you started on the task into Firefox uh, on the attack box so okay so now we know what to do let's go and try to answer this question so this is the IP address it's ready to go I would copy this IP address and I would open Firefox in their machine whenever you copy anything from here you would go to the clipboard in here and you would just like click clear okay copy paste it and as you see you have it in here so I would just like copy it go to the browser go to the browser and I would just like enter okay let's see all right uh, so as you see in here you can access try hack me machines and this is the flag so I would just copy this all right there you go we're gonna go we're gonna scroll down and then we're gonna submit the answer and here we have it we answered the first question correctly okay so now let me show you how you can connect with your Kali Linux or whatever system you are using I'm using Kali Linux and I'll show you how to do that what you need to do in here you're gonna click on access and as you see in here I'm not connected uh, through VPN you would click on download my configuration file uh, as you see in here and here it has my name because I had it already and I renamed it so I would click save file then I would go to terminal so I am using the root already if you are not using the root uh, what you can do you can go sudo su and after that you can just put your password uh, then you're gonna be root so you can uh, so you can execute the commands okay all right but what you need to do is to just write open VPN then after that you put the file that you just downloaded from their website so I would do like that open VPN space and one of the easiest way you can do is to drag the file so I would drag this file then I'm gonna hit enter and as you see in here it's completed so we are connected we're gonna go back to the website I would refresh the page 
and there you have it i am connected and this is going to be my ip in their website let's go back to the same room that we started so i can show you how you can use it in your uh, operating system and not their operating system okay so this is the room and it's still on because we didn't terminate the room so let me copy the ip i would just open a new tab and i will paste it and as you see now it's opening in my system not their system in the end of this video i hope that i made it easier for you to use try hack me if you didn't subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos where i will be uploading some ethical hacking videos uh, and I will be solving some challenge and try hack me and I will be explaining to you each challenge uh, I solve as we go. Stay tuned for my next videos and you have a wonderful day guys.